Today in the garage, I made myself a KDS Kawasaki data socket, or data systems, I'm not sure which it stands for, but it's a four pin ODB uh, connector on the bike that is in this clear case. It's usually in this spot underneath the seat with the strap holding it down and I have it out of the way here. And I pulled it out just so I could see the wiring easier. I can disconnect this and put it back in the covering. And I'm keeping the uh, opposite, you know, the OEM dummy plug that has the just blank offs here for weather protection and dust protection. And I'll put that back when I'm not using my ODB connector, OBD connector. I found the information for the wiring on ninja400riders.com forum. It's an awesome resource. All right. Pins four and five. You wire those together, they go to the black white. Pin seven goes to gray, black. Pin 15 goes to light green, black. And pin 16 goes to brown, white on the connector. Just four, four wire. This connector is easy to source. I got it from cycleterminal.com. I can't remember off the top of my head if it's cycle terminal or cycle terminals, but. That's where I got it from. I get all my connectors usually from him and my tools many times. You know, I have all the proper crimping tools for this kind of work because I do all kinds of electrical work on my bikes. Um, this came with six pins. There's four in the connector, but he always gives extras in case you mess up. All right, so the Kawasaki uses the KW Keyword 2000 protocol. So everything's wired up correctly. Whenever we turn on the bike, the scan tool is getting power and it's connecting and trying to find the protocol. It should detect it. I think KW is usually the last one it goes through. There, it detected the protocol, it linked to the bike, and it found it. So the reason I originally did this was because I was working on the bike, had disconnected the crank sensor wiring and a couple other wires underneath the the tank in the in the wiring tray in the back here uh, just for getting it track ready and cleaned up and I forgot to plug the crank sensor back in before I fired the bike back up or tried to fire the bike back up and of course it didn't run so I immediately oops realized what I did put it back together and it ran okay but then I had a check engine light you know code stored in the ECU uh, that you have to ride three times, three three ride cycles above 15 miles an hour, but the bike's still uh, not done. I'm, it, I'm doing the forks right now. Maybe I'll do a video on that separate. But uh, this is able to clear the code for me, no problem. And it'll also do live data tracking. I'm not going to show that because it's loud with the bike running. But uh, yeah, works out really well. So just make sure if you don't have a code reader, uh, you verify if it has the keyword 2000 protocol, KW2000. And I'm also, I'm going to check, maybe I'll make another video for this, I'm going to check my handheld Bluetooth dongles with my Torque Pro app and see if that'll work as well. And I'll let you know. Maybe I'll do that in the comments. But, um, uh, yeah, I, I did this for like $15 if that. Maybe this was probably the most expensive. <laughs> this plug is with shipping Amazon cheap for this pigtail OBD uh, connector and of course if you don't have the tools already the tools for crimping everything I'll probably run you a little bit but I already had them for several years so for me it was a no-brainer to do this myself all right any questions leave some comments